we're about to find the center of mass of a region bounded by some curves. So all these curves are lines right here, except the first curve is not a line. It's a quadratic. And you can use Desmos to graph it, but I'm gonna go ahead and graph it by hand here. 2x squared plus 8x. We can definitely factor out a 2 and an x, and we're left with x plus 4. So there's a happy parabola when we graph it, and the x-intercepts are x equals 0, and x equals negative 4. So we got x-intercept of 0, negative 4. It's a happy parabola, so it's going to look like this. The other bounds, y equals 0, x equals 0, that's the x and y axis, and also x equals 1. So we'll go out to here. So this is the region we actually want to consider. I'm going to redraw from 0 to 1. And it's going to look something like this right here. Now our bottom function is y equals 0. And let me write it as, uh, well, I'll give them the names. Now, I got this out of the video right here. The top function is f, the bottom function is g. So here our top function, f of x equals, that's the 2x squared plus 8x. The bottom function, g of x, r's equals zero. The other examples, it won't necessarily be zero, but for us it is zero. And we're going from zero to one, x coordinates zero to one. And we have a few things we need to compute. We need to get first get just the mass. So this is equal to k. Now what is k? k is going to be a constant. Uh, don't worry about what it is. It will all cancel out in the end. Um, you can also just assume it's 1 and then not write it. That will work also. But if you assume it's 1, 1, 1, uh, where it cancels out, it's actually right down here. Uh, so you can assume k equals 1 here. Uh, now if we had to compute the actual mass, we would need to know what k is, but uh, when we only need to get the center, uh, the centroid or the center of mass, uh, the constant will cancel itself out. So we're going from a to b, f minus g or top minus bottom dx. So we're going 0 to 1. Now the top function, 2x squared plus x dx. All right, you can do this integral. This one's not so bad. Uh, that's going to give you the denominators down there. You're going to get both denominators there. They're the same. Now we're going to compute the mx. All right, so this one, uh, there is still a 1 half in front. Integral a to b. So for us, that'll be one, uh, 0 to 1. Now this one's a bit different. It's f squared minus g squared dx. So we go 0, 1. f squared, 2x squared plus 8x squared. Now, the our g function is 0. Well, my g function, your g function might be different. Mine is just 0. Uh, you do need to FOIL this out right here. So you're going to get a uh, three terms when you're done foiling and simplifying, and then you'd use the anti-power rule, and that'll give you mx. And where does mx go? Oops. I have a feeling that should be an mx and that should be an my, but mx will go there. Ah, no, no, I think this is correct, yeah. So that is mx. We'll go, it's a little bit weird in the y position, but it counts how far you are from the x-axis. All right, so the my uses a slightly different formula. It doesn't have a half in it. So it's just ab. Now this one is x times f minus g. No squares this time. So ours goes 0 to 1. x times... 2x squared plus 8x minus 0 dx. Now you do need to distribute your x before you find your antiderivative. And then whatever you get after you simplify it is going to go right up there. And that should get you your center of mass. Uh, if you do uh, 
find their reverse, you can switch them, but hopefully this will get you there.